Okay, so welcome back. Now I need you to pull out the March papers that come in your kit and they look like this. I have gone ahead and I've trimmed off the little salvage edge um, from each of the paper collection on this one here. And I trimmed off this little piece that went attached to this little edge here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this area here um, for you. Um, I'm going to use my other rotary trimmer because this one is not as precise. So let me move that one. All right. So now that we've trimmed off these sizes to make it five inches wide, we do not have to worry about the length because it was already five inches total. And then you can mat that on top of this black cardstock or whatever cardstock you've cut. That is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and move my paper trimmer out of the way. And I am going to grab my adhesive. this in and then we can just keep on working with uh, so again we're just going to go ahead and mat that on and we'll burnish it in So now we're ready to mat that on to our page. Now remember, since we're doing it sideways, if you if you decide to do it this way, that's perfectly okay. I've decided to do it this way so that when I'm flipping, I can see the um, the month on the side like so. So what I'm doing is again using my Fabri Tac because it's a, a lot a lot stronger of a glue. I'm going to hold it on this side here where my hand is. I'll flip it and around that other edge where my fingers are not touching, I am going to apply glue. That way it just kind of reminds me that this is going to be a pocket, okay? So I know everywhere where I'm not touching, that's where the glue is and then I'll flip it and I will attach it like so onto our little page. And if it seeks, you can use your um, rubber eraser to remove the seepage. Okay, so that's that page. For the other page, um, we have created a belly band. Now this belly band here is one and a half by 12 inches. It's actually the scraps from the other pages that we've cut. And we're gonna score it at five and a half inches and then again at 11 inch. That is just to create a little belly band. Now we're also gonna cut a piece of scrap um, and we're just gonna mat um, that onto our little belly band. Now the scrap that we're going to cut is actually going to be one and a quarter by ten and three quarter inch. You can do an entire piece that is one and a quarter by ten and three quarters inch or you can do two individual pieces that is one and a quarter by five and a quarter and you'll need two pieces. So um, one and a quarter by five and a quarter if you're going to do two individual pieces and that's probably going to be the safest way to do it because we're not sure if we're going to have a lot of extra pieces left over so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one here and I know that we're going to mat this one here and our matting is five by five because this little piece is five and a quarter by five and a quarter and our layer that goes on top is going to be five by five so I'm going to go ahead and cut that out so let's push this to the side. 
bring the trainer in. And we can either go this way or the other way. I kind of like this one better, so I'm just going to go here and... five inches because it's going to be five by five. I still got a little bird in view and so that's going to be matted onto this one and then I'm going to go ahead because this is already five inches wide. Um, I needed five and a quarter so let's see. go ahead and cut two pieces on this one we're just going to go ahead and do it at one and a quarter inch wide it's the only thing about this trimmer that I'm not a big fan is how I have to lift up um, the opposite way that I'm used to flipping so then we're going to go ahead and trim two pieces that are five and a quarter by five and a quarter and it looks like I didn't trim that bottom part even. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. One and a quarter. Yeah, it was a little bit crooked there. That's the only thing I don't like. I don't have a place to like kind of snap it or lock it into place. Other than that. So then we're going to cut two pieces at five and a quarter. for our belly band and we have March and then we have the other one well, we have good luck we can do good luck on the other side if we wanted to okay so that'll go just like so there on that okay Okay, so our belly band has been inserted, as you can see here. One thing I do want to highly recommend is when you're inserting your belly band, make sure you grab that <clears throat> piece of cardstock, wrap it around like so, and then use your little guide like that, and then kind of be better that way <clears throat> it is a 12 inch one and a half by 12 inches but what you want to do is just um, crease it by bringing it in and then um, gluing putting your glue on this little flap gluing that on top and then gluing your other piece on top that way it's kind of fitting this one's a little snug um, but it'll be doable for what I wanted, okay? So it's on both sides of my, my little page there, okay? All right, so I hope that makes sense to you. <clears throat> All right, so the next thing we're gonna work on is our tag here. And again, we're gonna come over here. We are going to trim the little square here because on the tag that's what we're going to use for the tag is the little square so let's go ahead and let's use one that we can journal on so I'm going to bring that in align it turn that in so we are left with that 
And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and trim these up. And this is going to be um, a piece that we can now insert over here on that side. So. I have made a matting for this and the matting for these is <clears throat> and I'll make sure you guys have all these measurements so if the matting for this is four and a half inches by four and seven eighth four and a half by four and seven eighth is the matting for the monthly uh -huh. Four and a half by four and seven eighth and then this little piece here um, you need to cut it at four by five and five eighth okay I'm gonna go ahead and do something now I'm gonna go trim this little piece here because we need this and I have cut these little mattings at four and a quarter by four and a quarter. You're gonna need several of these throughout your your book for these little square pieces that will mount right on top of that like so. Okay, and these are the little inserts for the pockets on the sides here and as well. <clears throat> so it's a little insert that goes inside these pockets, okay? All right, so on this one, what I wanted to see is, because we're gonna be putting this in here, and we're gonna slide it in there like that, and we could fold that over so that you can, um, you know, pull it out, or just trim it. I'm just gonna trim it at four and five eighths. that's up to you if you want to perhaps keep that so then we're left with this and then this will map right on top of this like so and then we can slide that in there okay <clears throat> the other things that you want to do is you want to trim these out with your cutter and we also need to cut the decorative pieces that will go on this. And these are um, your decorative piece of paper that's going to go on top of this. It's going to be 2 and 7 eighth by 5 and 1 and 5 eighth by 5 for your decorative piece that you're going to cut to mount or layer on top of these. These are, as I had said before, all your pockets are going to be the same. <clears throat> These are one and seven eighth by five and a quarter, and this one is three and one eighth by five and a quarter. And you need a total of twelve of these, just so you know, because you're going to be using these for your pockets. Okay, so make sure you cut a total of twelve and a total of 12 of the 1 and 7 8 by 5 and a quarter. So then you know that your decorative piece that you're going to mount on top, it's going to be slightly smaller. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and we'll be back.
Okay, so I've taken a piece of cardstock that was four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and I had some extra pieces from left over from the March collection. So I cut a piece out that was four by four, and this is one of the little ephemeras that's in the 12 by 12 sheet. Cut it down to four inches, and we're just gonna use it as maybe um, a little maybe like a belly band right there maybe a little bit lower and it says good luck I don't want to mess that up so let's do it like that so we're just going to put a little bit of glue on each end just a tad bit Go ahead and glue that down. Just so you know, I keep I grab any glue that's close to me. Um, first glue I see is what I'm going to be picking up. All right, so we're going to go in. I always come back and clean my little glue messes with my rubber eraser. So then we have this little piece here that we can snip. Yeah, this is from the little 12 by 12. I guess it's not really little. It's a 12 by 12 sheet that has all the little ephemera journaling cards from the kit. We're gonna go ahead and fussy cut around here. Look at that maze fussy cutting. Woohoo! All right. You guys are probably hearing the sounds of the cards around me. Um, I am in the shop, so. If a customer happens to come in, I'm just going to pause the video and then come back in. But Carla had to step out. She graduates like in um, a week and a half, so she had to go get some stuff. Anyway. So there's that. So then we can tuck these in either here. As you can see, I put um, on this one here on the belly band, I put one of the um, stamps with some dimensional foam. And again, here's one of those little cards. And then over here, I put that little greeting there in that belly band. And we can tuck these here as well, or we can tuck it here because we made another little belly band there or we have a belly band here that we can use that one and then we can tuck this right behind here like so squeeze in there but we'll get it in there elbow grease in there so we got it in all right so we got that one in we can make another one and put it on the other side if we want or put some pictures on this pocket over here and so then that's gonna slide off like that from that little belly band there okay so that's pretty much how we've got it we have some dimensional pops here that's on a dimensional and then there's that pocket to tuck that tag in like so. okay so that's what we have for march and we still have some little pieces left over i'm just going to stick them in a little basket i have going on here with all the little extras that i have just in case something else pops up i can probably cut out another piece of that and put it in the back of this or just leave it like that and I'm probably just leaving it like that who knows I don't know we'll see towards the end how we go all right so now we're up to mm, mm, can't remember April how can I forget I have two beautiful daughters born in April so this is going to be a fun one to decorate um, again you're going to need a um five and a quarter by a five and a quarter piece of cardstock that's going to sit just like so there and 
let's double check that measurement. Yeah, five and a quarter by five and a quarter piece of cardstock. It's going to be the matting for this layer here. And then, of course, over here we have these um, that we've cut out, and they're all the same for the pocket. So this one here for the pocket is three and one eighth by five and a quarter. Three and one eighth by five and a quarter, and one and seven eighth by five and a quarter. And then we need to cut the little pieces that goes there. And then our third page for April, again, five and a quarter by five and a quarter piece of cardstock. So let's go ahead and let's jump into May. All right, so I'm going to show you what I've done so far with the March. Um, as you can see, I have cut out an extra piece of cardstock, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I had some leftover pieces from the March collection. So I cut out a piece that was four inches by four inches. And I had plenty of little leftovers here. I cut a strip from the ephemera. And this is four inches here. And that goes there. I got a little bit of blue here. I can see it. Okay. And so then I cut all the little... Um, that was in the collection and so this is going to go sliding in here like so okay and so for here for this little stamp I took some dimensional foam tape and I placed it underneath and I kind of gave it a little bit of a dimensional effect this is one of the ephemeras from the 12 by 12 paper for March and I put one of the stamps over here on this little journaling card here, okay? So that slides underneath that belly band. And then on this page, again, we did another belly band. And there's the march that you can journal on, along with this little tag that we've cut out from the collection. And we slide it right in there, along with the little greeting that I've cut from the collection. On the tag, I use, again, the four by four piece that was in the collection. I've used some dimensional foam to give this a little bit of a dimensional effect here. And I cut this little piece here from the little tag that was in the collection. I have put a little bit of glue here and here and made a little kind of pocket belly band there. And so then this will tuck in back here. And we still have some, um, paper left over that if I wanted to make anything else for this, I can, okay? And I'll come back through towards the end and I'll clean up all my glue webs. All right, so next month is April and I have two beautiful daughters born in the month of April, so I absolutely have to make this beautiful for my daughters, okay? So for April, we have this here that you're gonna pull out and we'll be back and we're gonna work on these two for the month of April. And again, it's the same concept. We're gonna be cutting this here. We're gonna cut this here. We're gonna trim it down to five inches. We'll cut these two out. We'll cut these out and we'll cut these out. So we're basically, we're gonna cut it all out, okay? So just get your trimmer out and let's get started.